In this video, we are going to explore the practical strategies to ensure that you have enough time for yourself while running a successful dog training business. Get ready to discover how balancing work and well-being not only will provide you with more fulfillment in life, but actually lead to more success. I constantly find myself working 24-7, dealing with clients and training dogs, all while trying to keep up with my daily demands of life. Usually, my self-care gets pushed to the side. At least, that's how things used to be. Then I realized it was time to break free from this cycle and prioritize my own well-being. By implementing just a few simple techniques, I was not able to just avoid burnout, but also enjoy the rewards of a balanced lifestyle and become more successful in the process. The first strategy I started to use was what's called time blocking. This technique involves setting aside specific chunks of time for different activities, ensuring you have a designated free time each week or even each day. By creating a schedule that includes both work and leisure, you're able to differentiate and break your brain apart into these two sections. You'll actually decompress during your leisure time, which enables you to focus better during your work time. That really helped me avoid that overwhelming feeling of working 24-7. As a solopreneur, it's very easy to work all the time, but remember, scheduling down some downtime is just as important as scheduling work. Now that I've carved out some free time, it's essential that I make the most of it. I only have such a, a limited amount of time. So limiting distractions is key for me. I like to put my phone away and switch it off, and I can get to all of my missed messages later. I fully immerse myself into the present moment as best as I can. I spend quality time with my dog, I take my son out for activities, and I just do things that bring me joy and allow me to recharge. It's not just about limiting work, but rather embracing life way beyond that. Now, here was the real secret thing that changed it for me. Beyond just work and relaxation, finding some type of hobby worked wonders for my overall well-being. Whether it's painting, hiking, or practicing meditation, a hobby can satisfy your mental, physical, and spiritual needs. By engaging in activities that bring you fulfillment, you'll cultivate a healthier mindset and regain the passion needed to excel in your dog training journey. Just laying down and closing your eyes for a little bit doesn't recharge the senses. But producing something that really has no monetary value to you, but brings you a lot of internal fulfillment, makes me feel great. While daily self-care routines are essential and you should be focusing on your everyday, periodically taking a more extended break is equally crucial. Plan a vacation, a retreat, or some type of staycation to completely recharge your batteries. Sometimes I'll step away from work for an entire week, which allows me to return with renewed energy, fresh ideas, and a sharper focus. Remember, even the most dedicated canine pioneers need time to reset. And there you have it, fellow canine pioneers, the art of self-care as a professional dog trainer. By implementing strategies such as time blocking, minimizing your distractions, finding a fulfilling hobby that you can do outside of your realm of business, and taking regular breaks, you'll create a harmonious balance between work and personal well-being. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more insight content on becoming a canine pioneer. To dive deeper into the world of dog training and self-care, visit caninepioneers.com. But before you go, don't forget to check out our most recent video. Happy training, and remember to take care of yourself to better take care of your canine companions and clients. Thanks for watching, canine pioneers. See you in the next video.